Hello everyone, this is Mary Ann and I'm back with another video. Um, this is going to be a video about the concept of dedicated spaces in my planner pages. I have been meaning to do this video for a while and um, I have, I think I've mentioned it in my previous videos, but I haven't really been able to talk about it at length with you guys. Uh, but I thought of doing this video for now because this is uh, an idea that I have been thinking about at length for the past couple of weeks. Now, I have already discussed this with you, what I track and why. This is my, for tracking, this is for planning, and this is for my weekly task sheet that is tipped in so that I can keep it visible when I flip through the days. And my planner pages are two days, uh, I mean like one day in two pages and then I always start on a Monday and end the week on a Sunday so when the week is over I just fold this in and then move to a new week so I'm showing you a blank page and I'm going to link down below the video about uh, what I track and why and how I plan so that you have a reference now the concept of dedicated space is only that because you have already assigned a particular space or spot in your planner pages for everything that you, is important in your life, every uh, category or aspect of your life that you need to track for a certain moment in time that you have decided on, then in case you do write on it, then that's fine. But in case you don't end up writing on it, that will mean something as well. Now, um, let me just show you an old page so that you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, here, here's a good page to show you. Um, so, as you can see, I was only able, really, I wasn't able to write anything for anything literary. I wasn't able to update my blog. I wasn't able to write any drafts for a book that I'm working, a novel that I'm working on, or a book of short stories that I'm working on, because I had to practically cram for a paper that I thought was not due in three months. Then I had to cram for it in like five days. So this was the night in which it was due. It was due before five o'clock. So I had to do that, and at the same time, I also had to, you know, I also had to deal with with a meeting related to my freelance work. So that was a very difficult thing to deal with, but I was able to finish both within the given amount of time. So that's why I wasn't able to write anything uh, in here, and, you know, because I did not want to write anything, I didn't want to read anything, for the day, I just ended up re listening to Radio Lab, a podcast from about 6.30 to 7, and then again from 8.30 to 11, when I was already home, because that's what the yellow is for. Yellow is for home, and the outer ring of the hyperdex is for location. So, that's basically it. Now, um, there, that's it. And then... Um, I am the kind of girl who goes back to her old pages a lot, especially if I have to, um, if especially if I have to find out what went on during the day because something did get done and and then I wanted to, something did get done but it wasn't recorded in the official log or something like that because these things happen. I always go back to my planning pages for the day and in case there are things that didn't get done like for example on that day that I showed you <clears throat> on the day that I showed you these things did not get done they had to be moved because I was not really expecting uh, this these two meetings the dark brown ones to have happened now if these two dark browns didn't happen then I could have been able to have more time between um, finishing the academic paper and dealing with all these things. I could have had more time, but I wasn't. So in case things, a lot of things get rescheduled, the dedicated space that I have assigned to every ring in the hyperdex explains to me why I wasn't able to do that. 
So I no longer have to write down like I wasn't able to do this because this and this and that happened and this happened. You know, just looking at these, uh, it will give me a view of how my day went already. So there's, I don't have to, you know, record too much. I record just enough so that if I just look at my planner pages for the day, I would have an idea of how that day went down. Uh, I hope you get what I'm trying to say. Uh, let me show you another spread. Yeah, just to explain to you, um, just in case, you, I don't get to write on certain things on certain spaces that I have assigned to certain aspects of my life in my planner, that means something. Now, this medication icon used to have a box on its own, but since my third psychiatrist has decided that I am, I haven't been bipolar all along, I've never been bipolar all along, now I'm no longer on heavy psychiatric medication, but that icon is there because I also have to write down there uh, whatever I, medication I need. Like I usually just take medication now for, for a headache or menstrual cramps or for a cold, and that's it. Or in, in case I, you know, get an infection, which is hard. Oh, I get asthma once a year. It's seasonal, and then I put that down there. But I, I don't really, it doesn't happen much. So if that icon is there, that's okay. I don't have to write anything down on it so that if I look back on my finished planner pages and I see that it's blank, that means I did not take any medication for the day. And that's a good thing for me. You know what I'm saying? I hope I'm not rambling on. Um, let's see. If, for instance, I wasn't able to... For, here, for instance, this is a box with a flower in it that is supposed to, you know, take care of my mood swings because I I thought I was bipolar. But now it's, I, I'm no longer bipolar, but I still get mood swings because those are the um, leftover, sort of leftover uh, side effects of the med heavy medications that I have been on for years. So there's still a little bit of mood swing left, but they are, you know, going away. So every time this is left blank, that's a good thing for me because it means that everything was stable. But if I get, you know, like a crying fit, I put that on there too, just to measure the number of days that passed in which I did not get a crying fit. Uh, so if like 10 days went by that this is blank, that's a good thing for me. Now, if I end up not having a crying fit for about a month, or six weeks, then that means I can already take out this tracking box because I don't need to because I no longer have mood swings. Yay! So um, leaving this blank is a good thing. Just like leaving this blank is a good thing. Leaving this blank is not a good thing, but um, because this is the box for whenever for writing down the title of whatever literary draft that I have been able to work on, whether it's the title of the novel that I'm working on or a book of short stories that I'm working on, I write that down there if I uh, worked on it for the day. And I also mark down in Hyperdex, in dark green, the number of hours that I worked in on that day because dark green means uh, writing time for me. So these two, the Hyperdex should match everything that's on here. So if that is blank, that is not good. But the only acceptable uh, situation in which that will not get written on and this will not have any dark green in it is if this is so full and this is so full and <laughs> everything is so full and instead of dark green, there will be, you know, like dark brown or pink or a lot of red with white dots because those are the colors for my school for my freelance, for my Etsy, and for personal and for work. So everything should match. I mean, all of my, all of the uh, hours that I spend in my day should be accounted for because that's, you know, that's a, that, that's a pitfall of having too much to do. If you end up with, a, if, you, if you end the day with 
several tasks not done sometimes I blame myself like why did I not do this I'm so inefficient I'm so lazy so but sometimes there are good reasons why they don't get done and that's why tracking is important and that's why the hybridize is important and uh, for instance uh, like there was that one day in which um, I, I you know I I had to go to school I, I usually go to school on Mondays Monday afternoons but the traffic was so so bad and I I heard the news about it that's why I left the office early so I could get to school on time but I still wasted three hours in traffic just to travel you know like 35 38 kilometers from office to school so that was a very bad day so um, in effect there were certain things at work that I wasn't able to finish for the day, which I had to move to the next day. But at least I know that I wasn't able to finish it for the day, not because I was inefficient or lazy, but because I was stuck in traffic. So that's, uh, that's the thing about tracking your time with the Hyperdex. <clears throat> it, it, it gives you the bigger picture and it places all of your time in context with everything else that you know falls on your lap for the day so that you don't end up blaming yourself in case you leave some tasks not done so the hyperdex is a dedicated space every ring of the hyperdex is a dedicated space that you uh that is for whatever you decided to be and all of these things that you track is really um uh a form of dedicated space now even for sundays and saturdays i don't have work i'm not required to work but the the box is still there because if it's blank then yay i get an entire free day a free weekend to myself but just in case i need to go to work or do something for my day job then i have something to write on and that is more easily seen when i have to claim overtime for the hours in which i have spent doing that particular task and i shade the hours onto the hyperdex so that's really it that's just the simple concept behind dedicated spaces because i heard that some planner addicts don't like it when parts of their planners are not written in you know when your planner is when your planner pages are so full if you go back sometimes you forget where you wrote this one where you wrote that one that's why you have to scour every every single millimeter of your planner pages to look for that thing that you're looking for and that's really not a very that that's not something i can work with i want to be able to go back to my old planner pages and know exactly where to look if i'm looking for something like for instance when was the last time i had a mood swing so i opened my planner pages for like the previous month like i have to count the number of times that i've had a crying fit so i go i open those planner pages and then i my eyes automatically zoom into this space right here so it's easy to find um i think the concept of archiving or tracking tracking your days and then archiving them in a proper manner the concept is that you should be able to easily find what you're looking for in your past just in case there's something about your past that you have to you know go back to so i hope that made sense if there are any questions please feel free to post a question in the comments i'll be more than happy to uh answer them for you in case it wasn't clear in this video um although i did try to make it as uh to explain everything as best as i could but uh, you know like uh this is not really an exact system i'm telling you just what works for me and why i think dedicated spaces is a concept that works well in my uh, planning system so well i guess that's it for now thank you so much for watching until next time bye